Hi students, this is Ms. Desena, and I'm here to help you through the question number one in your Black Beauty assignment. The question says, Anna Sewell wrote Black Beauty in 1877 with the hope of improving the way horses in England were treated. Would its tone, theme, and style be as effective today as it was in 1877? If you were going to try to convince people today of something, would you write a book like this? Why or why not? All right, so there's a lot to unpack in this question. But in order to really answer it well, we have to think about these four things. What is the tone of the novel? What is a theme in the novel? What is the style of the novel? And would the tone, theme, and style work in 2021. So let's unpack this a little bit and try to answer some of these questions. So tone is a very specific thing that we need to discover in a novel. The tone is the author's feeling about a topic or a theme. So we already kind of know what the theme is because it tells us in, in the sentence here, in the question. It says, Anna Sewell wrote Black Beauty with the hope of improving the way horses in England were treated. So let's, let's back up a little bit. Who is Anna Sewell, the author? Anna Sewell was a young woman. She was, she was British. She lived in England. And um, she lived in the early 1800s. Um, she actually had a, a pretty severe injury when she was about 12 years old that left it so that she was very, she had a hard time walking and her health was never really good. And for this reason, she had to be drawn in horse-drawn carriages kind of everywhere she went. She couldn't really walk very well. And so she really became attached to horses. She was very dependent on horses and on carriages and so she had a lot of empathy and cared greatly and loved horses very much. So now that we know that Anna Sewell really loves horses and we know that Black Beauty is a story about a horse, we can start to think about what her tone is and what her tone might be. Tone, remember, is the author, uh, the author's attitude towards a subject or a theme. So we already know her attitude towards horses is going to be, you know, deep caring, kindness, and empathy. You also need to remember that in this time period, in 1877, when this book was written, people didn't have cars or um, buses or other ways to get around. They had to use horses. They used horse-drawn carriages. They rode horses. Almost everybody really had a horse during in this place and in this time. So nowadays, we might not really even ever see a horse. But back then, they were very common and used all the time. Her real purpose in reading or in writing this story was to try to get people to understand how horses might be feeling and to try to get them to treat horses better. It says here in this article, um, the inhumane treatment of horses she observed inspired her to write Black Beauty. So she observed or saw people in her life and around her hitting horses, beating horses, and treating them poorly. She didn't like that. So she wrote this book from the perspective of a horse to get people to start thinking about how they might be treating horses and to maybe change their minds. She, it's persuasive. She's trying to convince people that horses deserve fair treatment. It says she wrote it for those who owned and worked for horses. So she didn't mean for sixth graders to read this book. She wrote it because she wanted people who owned horses and worked with horses to try to have some sympathy and kindness and understanding for horses. And it actually worked. She... Um, changed the way a lot of people treated horses and she changed the um, the certain type of rein which is a, a something that they use to like steer the horse basically to tell the horse where to go 
and the one with the spike in it that would hurt their mouth, um, people stopped using it after after she wrote this book because um, they they realized how how mean it was. So her her book actually really worked and, and accomplished its goal. Okay, but now that we know a little bit about her and her feelings towards horses, what might her tone be? Let's look at the novel here. And this is in chapter three. This is um, my breaking in. And of course, when it says my, it's talking about Black Beauty. This story is from Black Beauty's perspective. Okay, um, so let's look at what it says and pick out words that describe the tone. It says, I was now beginning to grow handsome. My coat had grown fine and soft and was bright black. I had one white foot and a pretty white scar on my forehead. I was thought very handsome. My master would not sell me till I was four years old. He said lads ought not to work like men and colts ought not to work like horses till they were quite grown up. When I was four years old, Squire Gordon came to look at me. He examined my eyes, my mouth, and my legs. He felt them all down, and then I had to walk and trot and gallop before him. He seemed to like me and said, When he has been well broken in, he will do very well. My master said he would break me in himself, and he should not like me to be frightened or hurt, and he lost no time about it for the next day he began. So what, what is the author's attitude towards the horse, towards the people who take care of the horse? What are you thinking? He, the author, Anna here, she uses words like pretty and handsome and fine. These words evoke uh, positive feelings, right? It sounds like she has positive feelings towards the horse. How about the, the people? Let's read a little bit more about the people and their treatment of the horse. Okay, so here she says that the, um, the owner of the horse, the master, would not sell me until I was four. He said lads ought not to work like men and colts ought not to work like horses. So he doesn't want the young horse to have to work too hard. Just like nowadays, you know, most parents don't want their children to have to work too hard until they're older. And it also says here that the master, the owner of the horse, would not like the horse, or me, to be frightened or hurt. So does this sound like the, the does the author make the owner of the horse sound like a good person or a bad person? Does he sound like someone who cares about horses or somebody who, you know, wants to hurt horses? You decide what the tone is of this novel. Think about the types of words that are used to describe people, to describe horses, and to describe events and things that happen. What is her attitude towards horses? What is the author's attitude towards people and how they treat horses? I'm going to read one more paragraph to give you some insight. It says here, my master often drove me in double har harness with my mother because she was steady and could teach me how to go better than a stage horse. Oh, sorry, a strange horse. She told me the better I behaved, the better I should be treated and that it was wisest always to do my best to please my master. But, she said, there are a great many kinds of men. There are good and thoughtful men like our master that any horse may be proud to serve, and there are bad, cruel men who never ought to have a horse or dog to call their own. Besides, there are a great many foolish men, vain, ignorant, and careless, who never trouble themselves to think. These spoil more horses than all, just for want of sense. They don't mean it, but they do it for all that. I hope you will fall into good hands." But a horse never knows who may buy him or who may drive him. It is all chance for us. But still, I say, do your best wherever it is and keep up your good name. So based on this paragraph, this, this can kind of tell us about the theme and the author's attitude, the tone. It tells us that the author um, has, has a feeling that horses are very intelligent, 
that horses are very smart, they can tell what men are like and how they'll be treated by them. And it also shows us that she thinks that people who treat horses well are good people. And she thinks that people who treat horses poorly and beat them are foolish. Okay, so we get a lot of insight here. This can also show us a little bit about the theme. What she wants us to know about life. How she thinks horses should be treated. And of course we know she wants them to be treated well. Okay. Lastly, we have the style. So this book was written a long time ago. So it's much more formal than, you know, we would write like a text message to a friend or a letter to a friend or an email. The words are more formal. The vocabulary is more, is more formal. But this is a narrative writing. It's a story being told from one person's perspective or one animal's perspective in this case. And it is also persuasive because the author is trying to get us to, to think a certain way. She wants us to be, you know, people who care about horses and do our best to treat horses and all animals well. Let's go back to the tone. Different types of, of tones. There's many, many, many different types of tones. And I don't have them all here, but I have some examples. It could be a serious tone, a sad tone, a humorous or funny tone, an informal tone. Informal would be, you know, like a text message you write to a friend. It could be a formal tone, which would be, you know, a much more um, professional letter that maybe you would write to, a, to your boss or to a teacher um, or maybe, you know, write to um, somebody in Congress, something like that. You could be in, have an optimistic tone, which is, you know, you have a good feeling about the future or a pessimistic tone where you have a bad feeling about the future, an analytical tone where you're just trying to pick apart every little detail and figure out the big picture. It could be, you know, a scary or horror tone, or it could be persuasive where the author is trying to get you to believe something. Okay, so there's many, 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 many different types of tone, but these are just some examples that you might um, that you might consider when you think about what the tone is of this novel. Okay, so all of these, the themes, the tones, the styles, are they effective today? So if you were going to write something or you wanted to convince the world about something, anything, in this case, Anna wants to convince the world that, you know, they should treat horses well, that people should treat horses like they would their own children. If you wanted to convince people of something, would you write a book like Anna did? Or would you do something else? Maybe you would write, make a TikTok video. Maybe you would uh, make a YouTube video. Would you write a book like she did or not? And then last but last but not least, here is kind of a fill in the blank for you. The tone of the novel Black Beauty is, you tell me, this tone would or would not be effective today because, why? The theme of the novel is, what's the theme? What's the message here? It has to do with the treatment of horses, right? Is this theme effective or not effective today? And why do you think so? And the style of the novel is blank. This style of writing would or would not be effective today because why? You tell me and I'm happy to, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Keep up the good work, everybody.